Joining me right now is Labenthal Global Advisors President Dominic Tavella. Also joining the conversation all morning long this morning is Dagan McDowell, an independent women's forum center for economic opportunity director, Patrice Lee Anwuka. Great to see everybody this morning. Thank you so much for being here. Good morning. Dominic, what do you make of that volatility yesterday and this uh, decline year to date? Um, so yesterday, a lot of people, I'm sure, felt good at the end of the day. But we have to understand there were a lot of institutional money managers, a lot of hedge funds that were shorting this market. When we saw that thousand point drop in the Dow, these institutional money managers came back in, bought the stock, closed their trade and covered their shorts. So they were locking in profits. Don't take a lot of solace in how that market closed yesterday. I'm not convinced yet we're done. Well, look, here we have the Federal Reserve kicking off its first meeting of the new year today. We've got a two-day meeting where we've got so many expectations of rate hikes coming uh, and what it could mean for markets. Has this market underestimated this incredible move that we are going to see from easing? And by the way, the Fed is still buying securities as we speak, right? They're not even finished buying yet, and they're supposed to they're, turn they're around still and They're still easing, Maria. That's right. Exactly. So what are your thoughts in terms of the rate hikes and whether or not the Federal Reserve is going to be able to land this flight safely and not disrupt markets? So, look, Maria, a month ago, just a month, maybe two, we were talking about two, maybe three rate hikes. Now they're talking about three, five. In some cases, we've heard some yeah. Wall Street institutional money managers talking about five increases. And this is the pendulum, the fear factor. Hey, are they going to be too easy with money? Are they going to be too tight with money? It's this great unknown that we're going through right now that's repricing risky assets. I think in the end, the Fed is not going to be terribly aggressive in their tightening stance. I don't think they want to push the economy into a recession. Soft landing is a whole nother problem. These things are never soft. They're yeah. never easy. Well, well, you're right. I mean, yesterday we were talking with Nancy Lazar, who is expecting a recession in 2023. Suddenly, Dominic, we're talking about recession. We were just talking about some of the best metrics for the consumer and this economy, I feel like, just a few months ago. And yet, here's the new conversation. Exactly what you just said. I spoke with the Lindsay Group CEO, Larry Lindsay, and Macro Mavens president, Stephanie Pomboy, and both of them say the markets are not going to allow the Fed to do what all of these people are expecting, multiple rate hikes. Watch this. I think the Fed is going to probably increase rates four times this year, starting in March. But the market is going to react strongly at some point. And I don't think the Fed will, once that happens, uh, continue to push forward. I think they'll take a pause. Say a 20% drop, something like that. I don't think the Fed raises rates at all. I don't think they can get that far. I think we get through the taper, maybe, um, and it becomes clear that, you know, it's just not working out. I mean, look at what happened just in the last few weeks when the 10-year touched 1.8, you know, it created real uh, problems for the stock market. And the real issue is that having overstayed accommodation for the amount of time that they did, um, they've obviously built up the largest bubble in our lifetimes, yep. um, you know, by that old indicator uh, measure of valuation. Yeah, Stephanie's talking about that bubble. Dominic, it's been good days for the financials and all of these other companies that have benefited from all of this liquidity in the market. Is it going away? What happens now? Well, look, Maria, uh, we, we do have very good unemployment numbers. I mean, they, they're getting a little bit worse, but overall, the unemployment number is fantastic. We have record profits. We, wait till the end of this uh, season. We have the market selling at, what, an 18 times multiple going forward. Not terribly expensive, even at this point. We ha have economic growth. All the leading economic indicators, generally speaking, are positive. So is a recession possible? Anything is possible. I don't think it's likely. I think the Fed rate raises interest okay. rates twice before the midterms. I think that's significant once after, and then we'll see what happens in 2023. And are you a buyer on this weakness, Dominic? How are you allocated? You really, Maria, you have to hold your nose at some point. You can never pick the bottom. So you take your liquidity yeah. and you very incrementally put it in over the next couple of weeks. I think the next two, three weeks enough. Two and a half percent of your liquidity at a time. And then you start putting money back to work very slowly, but methodically right. hold your nose.
All right. Long-term bull there. Dominic, it's good to see you. Thanks so much for weighing in on all of this thank volatility. You, Dominic Tavella joining us. We'll see you soon, Dominic. Thank you.